Right, morning everybody. Yeah, it is indeed morning. It's like half past eight here. I've got the day off and I'm usually up early anyway, so I figured, let's get up. Let's do this fucking stunt. I've kind of roped in a friend. We've got Bored Mouse joining us today. We're going to get on voice chat. We're going to do something a little bit different with this episode. Anyway, let's get in game. Let's find the location again. We'll join up with Bored Mouse and we'll see how we get on. Right, so anyway, basically this stunt here, I, I, I just kind of randomly found it when I was looking about for one of these stunts to do for the, the new how-to video, and this is what I came up with. We're going to drive off the edge of this with a little bit of boost, and there's a tower in the distance that we're going to try and land in. Uh, but the idea is to try and land in this tower. Now the big problem okay. with this is this tower and also the flooring that we're stood on is destroyable. So I, I tried this with JB Bars one time in a bike in some other location and when I landed in it I fell all the way down to the bottom in the bike and obviously fell off. But in a car, mm -hmm. that might not exactly happen. But yeah, you're basically trying to squish it in. That's, that's our goal, I guess. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I don't even know why I'm doing this now. <laughs> I really don't. Like, this is about... I don't, I don't know what episode this is. Like, I've already recorded about four or five. Where exactly is the starting spot? Oh, here. I see. Whoa! What was that? It ramped off a roof. Oh, yeah, I, I do have, like, a sort of get-out clause in this. Uh, if for any reason I happen to land cool on another one of the cool buildings down there, then I'm just going to scrap the whole idea and just call it quits and just be like, yeah, that's it. I'm just going to make that stunt, the, the thing that we were trying all along. <laughs> okay, so we boost like right as soon as we like get off the cliff or? Boost, uh, so maybe around about here. The sort of new stunting rules in Just Cause Multiplayer, basically, you don't use boost in the air, it becomes a little bit too easy. Cheap, yeah. Uh, yeah cheap, I yeah, so that's a good way of putting it, yeah. It's way harder to try and judge in advance and then let physics take its course than it is to adjust as you go. I think I think that's why sort of maybe GTA 5 stunts are a bit easier in some ways. You've got a bit more fine control when it comes to in the air. And just cause two, once you're in there, that's you. Wherever you're gonna land, it's wherever you're gonna land. You see, that's one of the things that I find so incredible about uh, what is Awaken 4 Productions and JB Bars. All oh, they're just cause two single player stunts. Some of them require maybe 15 20 minutes setup time. And if you don't get it, you have to go through that all over again. And it's really hard. Oh, well, you see, that was good, sort of aim wise. Oh shit. Yeah. Did you see what I just did? Oh, I used boost in the oh, air and accidentally shot out the struts. Oh, <laughs> oh damn. Sorry, I'm, I'm being loud. Oh. No, no, no. I, I I can't hear you that much actually. I'm 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 not I'm trying not to be loud cuz other people are asleep. Oh, it's blocked. It's totally blocked. <laughs> There's no way we can land something in it now. We might have to reconnect. I wish I could access the menu with my controller. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. Oh god, yeah. I de I bought. I remember right when right when JCMP was in its prime. I bought a uh, what's it called? The uh, keypad for the controller, and I thought that would work. Oh wow, that would have been awesome. It doesn't work for like the for like the Xbox controller. Yeah, the little keypad that sort of fits in that little gap. That would have been cool if you could have used that. You sure there isn't any like sort of hacky homebrew stuff that? Oh, believe me, I searched for hours and hours and hours trying to see if it can actually work. Nope. Oh, all right, I, I need to. It's only ten bucks, so I don't feel that bad. I, I'm hearing a lot of destruction in the background here. Like, I'm not even kidding. It sounds like that tower just fell down. I smashed into it. <laughs> let, let me have a look. Let me have a look. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to teleport back here again. Yeah, it's broken. You broke it, dude. I did. All right, let me see. Yeah, the bells at the bottom and everything. Oh, completely destroyed. Oh, this episode's going better already. Yeah, I might. I might. I might try just the regular Garrett. That way I don't have a, a gun that I can accidentally shoot it down with. 
Oh shit, no, I'm gonna have to go back to using the regular Garrett. That doesn't feel right at all. I hit the tower, but I don't think it damaged it at all. I only got this side of it. Oh no. Uh, I just wish JCMP wasn't so dead. Trix is making new submissions uh, to the code, so I mean they're clearly working on it. I've seen new submissions regularly for the past, what, probably month? Six weeks or something? There's I mean, that's great, but like, who's gonna be there to experience it with us? Just cause 3 is just around the corner, and that's not going to have multiplayer. And I, I would yeah. be inclined to think there's going to be a lot of people want it. Where are they going to go? Where are they going to get their fix? Well, that's true. They're going to come here. I mean, not all of them, but... I would think that there's going to be a good proportion that are playing Just Cause 3 and playing this in sort of tandem. Mm -hmm. I, can't, I can't see any reason why. I know I'm going to be doing it. I mean, I don't think I'm just going to drop Just Cause 2 multiplayer because Just Cause 3 comes out. I think it's going to take a bit of a back seat. I can't imagine not ever playing this again. Unless there's multiplayer and Just Cause 3 around the corner. That would be the only reason. Good point, I guess, yeah. Well, I, I, I'm trying to be optimistic here, obviously. I mean, who knows? I mean, it might not work like that. Without sounding like a prick, you know, I've been, kind of been right so far. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I did yeah, predict I when mean. multiplayer came out, it would die. Uh, I sort of warned the devs over this, but they, 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 they had a, they felt like they had a sort of obligation to release it as well as everybody had been asking for so long. Well, they got what they wanted, and now no one plays. Well, well done, everyone. Fucking brilliant idea, yeah. Eh? As far as I, I was concerned, we should have just kept the beta tests. All the time. That's yeah. exactly what I was thinking, yeah. It would have been so smart if they never released it. I, I was such an idiot for wanting it to be released. Uh, it's easier, it's easier now. saying that now, and you never know, I mean, things might work out and, and their benefit in the long run, who knows? I'm sure, like, a lot of the coders have, you know, well, actually, I was, I'd say that a lot of the coders have really got their teeth into this, but they've not. <laughs> uh, I think everybody just wanted it released so they could set up a server with their friends, and then it worked out that that actually wasn't that fun, and <laughs> everyone stopped yeah. playing. Yeah. Yeah. I want co-op. Well, we don't have co-op. Here, go and play it in a big empty map with your friend. <laughs> yeah, have fun. <laughs> uh, as, as much as I'm sort of a committed player to Just Cause and multiplayer version, yeah, you've got to be pragmatic. All, all these kind of things have got a lifespan. And I think that's just the most amazing thing about Just Cause is the mobility. So it's like if you played, you know, GTA 5 and then went back to GTA 4. I don't think you'd be very happy at your experience. Whereas playing GTA 4, then 5, you'd be like, this is fucking awesome. Yeah, that's exactly what I did, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh man, I was feeling like I, I was dead on perfect aim and I just didn't have quite enough boost. I'm not good anymore. You just go through stages. I all I remember is Alt F9 is to record and Alt F12 is to the, the FPS. Uh, you can change I them. I, I I've changed. Them. I I I just have it assigned to one button and just press that. As long as it's something stupid like spacebar. Because I'm worried that if I set it to something, <laughs> the <a> spacebar. <laughs> yeah, just don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's a psychological effect of night time. Uh, I don't actually want to land it at night time, so I always seem to be shit. I don't know. I just I don't I don't really like the night time either. <laughs> yeah, night time in uh, Just Cause Two is horrible. It's like the 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 colors are so unsaturated, and it's just a it's just a sort of grey blob. Yeah, I I agree. That's, uh, that's what happened with me the first time I played uh, Just Cause on my new computer. I'm just like, okay, I get to see what it looks like now. Oh, it's it's nighttime. <laughs> <laughs> exactly looks terrible. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll take a break there. Tune in next time for more crazy stunt action.